I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will write down a pattern rule for the given description. The question here is write algebraic expression for each description of the pattern rule. Now the first one is given to us and the description is the number of blocks increases by 2 each time. So that is the rule. We are not saying how many you start with but whatever you start with it increases by 2 each time. For example, if we have, let me make a table to show you the result and then we'll actually draw the blocks. So let us say we start with 3 blocks and then each block second increases by 2 means we add 2 to it. So 3 plus 2 is 5 and in the third pattern we will have 7 and in the fourth pattern we will have 9 and so on. So what we see here is each time it increases by 2. So that is what this statement is, right? So that is what we are trying to do. So now you need to write an algebraic expression for this description. Can you write? And how can you write? Okay. So let us also understand with the help of blocks. Let us say that I have three blocks to start with. So I have three blocks to start with. Let's say these are my three blocks. And then what I do is I increase the number by two. So let us say I draw like this. And then I have three. So I put two more. Okay, so kind of like this, 2, right? So I increase it by 2. And then again, when I make the next figure, I have these three blocks to start with, right? And now I already have the second pattern is 5. And I increase this block by 2. So I've got so many blocks now. Okay, so what we have is three different figures. Let me write this as figure number 1. This is figure number 2 and that is figure number 3. So you can count 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 blocks. In the second figure, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the third figure, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it matches with our description, right? So this is the number of figure and here it is increasing by 2 each time. What do we need to do? We need to write an algebraic expression in terms of figure number to describe this pattern. So how can you do that? That is what the question is. So what you can think about is you can relate uh, something with fixed and something with variable. So what we can notice here is that if I keep this away kind of fixed, look here. If I shade this up, uh, then what do you notice? We notice that 1 is fixed, right? So 1 is not changing. But here 2, then we have 4 and 6. How is 2 related with 1? How is 4 related with 2? And how is 3 related with these blocks, which are 6? Well, that gives us an, one idea. That is 1 is fixed, I can say 1 plus how many green blocks? Well, it seems that the green blocks are two times this number. Do you see that? Green blocks are two times n, which is 1 for us in this case. So 1 plus 2 times n could be an algebraic expression describing this particular pattern. Do you get the point, right? So if I write n as 1, what do I get? I get 1 plus 2 times 1, which is 3. Correct? Let us calculate for each and then see if this algebraic expression works for all. So we have 1 plus 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. So 1 plus 2, that is indeed 3. Here we have 1 plus 2 times 2, the figure number, right? 2, so which is 1 plus 4. And that is equal to 5. In this case, it is 1 plus 2 times 3, where 3 is the figure number, right? So we have 1 plus 6, and that is 7. 
So it works. So the algebraic expression which represents this particular description, the number of blocks increases by 2 each time is 1 plus 2n and that is how you can get. So this is one way of getting the expression. My other way of getting the expression is from here. What we see is that the number increases by 2. So times 2 is something we are looking into. So times 2, 2 times n. Now if I do 2 times 1, what do I get? I get 2. How do you get 3? By adding 1. So let me add 1 to it. Okay. What is 2 times 2? 4. How do I get 5? By adding 1. So 2 times n plus 1 works. So 2 is the common difference. So that helps to form an algebraic expression. So you could do using your table. You can do with the help of blocks. And then whatever you write as an expression, you should check it out. Right? Now, can you tell me the number of blocks for a figure number, let us say 10. So for figure number 10, how many blocks will there be? And draw that pattern and show that they are indeed those many as you think. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.